Hello everybody, myself Jyoti and this is third lecture on Gamma DK and today what we are discussing is, uh, we are going to discuss is Mosber effect. So, uh, Mosber effect or you can say Mosber spectroscopy. So, whenever we talk about spectroscopy, the first thing which you sh it should, which should come in your mind is uh, between two, which two energy levels the transition is going to take place. When we talk about spectroscopy, spectroscopy refers to basically the transition which takes place between two energy levels. Now this transition between the two energy levels, it may be atomic transition, molecular transition, nuclear uh, transition between the different nuclear energy levels and so on. So when we talk about Mosberg spectroscopy here, the transition takes place between the two nuclear energy levels that you must know and uh, whenever we talk about spectroscopy you should know the source which we are going to use like in infrared spectroscopy we use infrared rays in microwave spectroscopy we use microwaves similar to that in case of Mosber effect the source is gamma rays and that is how we are studying this Mosber effect in gamma dk okay so in 1958 rudolf l Mosber observed that under certain certain circumstances gamma rays can be emitted from nuclei or absorbed in nuclei without any loss of energy due to the recoil of the emitting or absorbing nucleus recoil free recoil less emission or absorption of gamma rays is known as Mosber effect now what is the recoil now you must be knowing the example of a gun when uh, when a bullet is fired from the gun, the gun it moves in the opposite direction. This is because of the conservation of angular momentum. We will not go into the detail of this, but yeah, you should know that here also we have an emitter. We have a gamma ray emitter. A nucleus here, which is a gamma emitter, it is going to emit gamma rays. So when it will be emitting gamma rays, naturally this gamma ray emitter nucleus, it will move in the opposite direction. We don't want that to happen. When a gamma ray emitter, it emits gamma ray without moving in the opposite direction. It is fixed over here. Then there will not be any loss of energy. Recoil ya ne Recoil it is loss of energy. Suppose uh, my gamma rays are moving in this direction and my gamma emitter it is moving in this direction. That means there is some loss of energy. In case of Mosberg spectroscopy, we don't want that loss. That means when my gamma ray emitter it is emitting energy in the forward direction there should not be any loss of energy there should not be recoil this should be fixed that recoil less emission it is referred to as the Mosber effect now uh, according to the nuclear energy level concept the gamma ray frequency is produced by different nuclear transitions represents line in the gamma ray spectrum similar to optical spectral lines like we have whenever the transition takes place between two uh, atomic energy levels then we get a uh, light uh, light is emitted in the form of photon similar to that whenever a transition takes place between two nuclear energy levels uh, photon is emitted which has energy which is equal to difference between the two energy levels and that is nothing but the gamma ray photon now ordinary spectral lines are not ideally sharp these are in fact there are in fact many reasons for broadening of spectral lines from Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, any energy state has a natural line width which is proportional, which is inversely, inversely proportional to the average lifetime of the nucleus excited to the state. Now, why, what are the reasons for broadening of spectral lines? First reason is like recoil. Now, radiation resulting from transition between two such states will have certain natural width or spreading frequency. The natural line width, however, is extremely small and masked by other effects. Superimposed on the natural line width is the broadening due to Doppler effect resulting from any motion, thermal or otherwise, of the atom of the emitting nucleus. Now, what happens when you have a, I have an emitting nucleus. Emitting nucleus in the sense, the nucleus which is going to emit gamma rays. Now, inside this emitting nucleus, there may be thermal motion. Like you take the example of... Um, um, atoms, atoms in the crystal, they vibrate about their mean position. That happens at uh, room temperature or higher temperature. Jitna temperature zada, utna atom ke paas zada energy because we know that E equals to 3 by 2 kT. Temperature zada rahega, energy zada rahega, utna vibrations zada rahega. So these atoms, they vibrate about their mean position. And uh, if you will low, if you uh, lower the temperature, in that case, these atomic vibrations will keep at a certain temperature. 
so uh, what is happening here we have a doppler effect and all those problems when the temperature is more when the thermal vibrations are more if you if we cool down then that problem won't be there the lines in the gamma ray spectrum are also broadened due to the energy loss a photon experiences by the recoil of its emitter now what we want is uh, there is a broadening and we don't want that broadening so what we can do is uh, suppose i fix this emitter mera emitter hai it is as it is emitting gamma ray nucleus it is moving in the opposite direction yani recoil ho raha hai this recoil it depends upon the effective mass agar main iska effective mass badha deti hu to is that in that case there will not be recoil so what i can do is i can embed this emitter in a crystal lattice suppose main crystal lattice leti hu uske andar main fix kar deti hu this emitter so then the effective mass will be the mass of the crystal as a whole so agar gamma ray emit hota hai so in the opposite direction the effective mass of a crystal as a whole so it won't be move bahut mass hai to there will be a difficulty or problem in moving in the opposite direction that way so if a gamma photon is emitted in the direction with a certain momentum the emitter recoils by the law of conservation of momentum in the opposite direction with the same amount of momentum the recoil energy comes from the energy of the excitation of the nucleus so that energy of the photon diminishes as the recoil may take place in a number of different ways the recoil energy may vary resulting in a spread of gamma ray energies and therefore we have a broadening of the line due to a particular nuclear transition so it appears from the above that the doppler broadening and recoil result is a mismatch between the frequency of the emitted gamma ray photon and its natural frequency when these effects are absent so what we can do uh, so as to uh, remove doppler effect and remove this um, recoil we can embed this uh, gamma ray emitter in a crystal lattice so using gamma emitters and absorbers ek to so m gamma emitter rahega that means that is our source example rahega which is under study that is absorber so we will you uh, we will embed both using gamma emitters and absorbers rigidly bound in a crystal lattice ko fix kar diya so there will not be any recoil and Uh, we don't want those atomic vibrations also because atomic vibrations ki wajah se bhi problem hota hai there is a loss so what we can do maintaining the crystal close to absolute zero at absolute zero temperature atomic vibrations keys atomic vibrations nahi hota hai because itna energy nahi hai temperature nahi hai so energy nahi hai so atomic vibrations won't happen so what is recoil free radiation since the vibrations of the atoms in the crystal lattice are quantized the recoil energy due to gamma emission may not be sufficient to raise the atom to a higher vibrational level what is the problem we have a ground state here we have excited state here and if a gamma ray has to be uh, gamma ray has to come uh, if the nucleus has to go from ground state to excited state it should have energy which is equals to difference between these two energy levels अगर ऐसा नहीं होता है तो इन दैट केस ट्रांजिशन विल नॉट टेक प्लेस सो और जो ये ट्रांजिशन के लिए जो एनर्जी चाहिए सेम एनर्जी इज एमिटेड फ्रॉम द सोर्स तो सोर्स से पूरा का पूरा एनर्जी अगर एब्जॉर्बर पे नहीं आता है इन दैट केस दिस ट्रांजिशन वोट हैपन द रिकॉयल एनर्जी एंड द मोमेंटम आर देन ट्रांसफर टू द क्रिस्टल एज अ होल इन विच केस सिंस द मास ऑफ द क्रिस्टल इज वेरी लार्ज द स्मॉल वेलॉस द रिकॉयल कुड कैरी ऑफ निग्लिजिबल एनर्जी under this condition the emitted frequency of gamma photon which is emitted from the source would give a sharp line representing precisionally the energy change in the nucleus and this is called as recoil free radiation now what is mosberg's experiment mosberg carried out his experiment uh, using 129 kv gamma rays from iridium now uh, if we check now most of the work it is done on fe57 mosberg studies are 80 to 85% of studies are do done on fe but mosberg first did this experiment on iridium uh, produced the beta decay of os the energy level diagram for iridium uh, i'll show you the 129 kv excited state in ir has a mean life of 1.30 into 10 raised to 10 raised to minus 10 seconds so that it has a width uh, tau equals to h cross upon tau uh, that is 5 into 10 raised to minus 6 ev now uh, let us see this diagram so we have a os which is a excited state nucleus or which is not stable so it will undergo beta ray emission and it will emit uh, it will undergo beta ray negative beta decay and we get a 
iridium nucleus now this iridium nucleus it is an excited state so there is a two possible there are two possibilities either this transition will take place here also gamma ray is emitted between this level and this level or this transition so it is a two step process okay so here 129 just a second here 129 kv mosberg gamma ray is emitted when the transition is taking place between 5 5 2 plus and 3 2 plus state so the let us talk about the experimental arrangement of mosberg so what we are doing the source and the absorber both were embedded in a crystal lattice so that there is no recoil the recoil energy was low enough so that the emitting atoms were not dislodged from their lattice sites in this case the recoil was taken up by the entire crystal as the mass of the lattice was very large the recoil energy loss was negligibly small and these were, uh, and these were placed in two cryostats which are maintained at the temperature of 88k so that there is no um, vibration even so uh, the experimental the cooling reduced the when we have kept cryostats there is a cooling and because of that uh, the thermal broadening is reduced so much that no resonance absorption was expected but Mosberg observed enhanced absorption there was an arrangement for rotating the cryostat so you can move source close to absorber you can move source away from the absorber that is what Doppler effect is so when source moves towards absorber we take the velocity as positive when source moves away from the absorber we take the velocity negative and uh, here the graph is plotted uh, between uh, intensity versus the velocity so when the source is moving in the opposite direction to that of the absorber we take uh, just a second we take the velocity negative and when the source is moving uh, close to the absorber we take the velocity positive that is why we have negative as well as positive ve values of velocity and we get this kind of a curve resonance curve okay now uh, Mosberg effect has also been observed in many other materials like nickel, RU, xenon, uh, deprosium and all. But the most extens extensively used substance is the iron isotope Fe57 in the K capture decay of cobalt. So we have this cobalt 57. It undergoes electron capture reaction and we get two types of gamma rays either here the gamma uh, this transition can take place and we get 137 kev of gamma ray or it is a two step process where we are getting 123 kev the probability for this reaction it is 91% while for this it is just 9% and all now what is resonance absorption a nucleus can absorb only that gamma ray photon whose energy is equal within the limits set by the uncertainty principle to the difference in energy between an excited state and the ground state ground state hai, excited state hai. if the energy uh, a nucleus can absorb only if the energy is between uh, equal to difference between the two energy levels otherwise not in other words the absorbing nucleus must be identical to the emitting ones so source and absorber ka jo energy hai source jo energy uh, emit kar raha hai or absorber jo absorber kar, absorb kar raha hai both these energies should be same or ye same kab rahega when there is no recoil there is no loss of energy Clearly, it will occur only when the emission of gamma ray is recoilless. Otherwise, the gamma ray is reduced so much that it cannot resonate with the nucleus of the same kind. Okay. Now, where we use this Mosberg effect, we we use applications of Mosberg effect are in studying the hyperfine splitting of the nuclear energy levels, in the verification of the gravitational redshift, and in the study of isomeric or chemical shift. So this is all about Mosberg effect. Uh, thank you. Thank you.